back to Bama Girls Cafe. Today we're gonna be making a chicken BLT pizza. Now I know y'all like, what the hell is that? I'm gonna explain it to you. It is a pizza that has lettuce, tomatoes, chicken, bacon, and Parmesan cheese. And you're gonna either use ranch or ranch dressing or sour cream as the base of the pizza. You wanna make sure you have a pre-cooked pizza crust. Now this is very budget friendly and a very calorie friendly dish. It's also something, something you can do with your kids if you're trying to get them to eat more veggies and they love pizza. It's very tasty actually. When I first saw this recipe a couple years ago, I was like, honey, I'm not about that pizza life like that. But once I tried it, I loved it and I've been eating it ever since. So I hope you guys will enjoy my version of the chicken BLT pizza. If you're interested in seeing how I slay this pizza, then you definitely want to stay tuned in because it's about to go down here on Bama Girl Cafe. See you guys back here in a second. All right guys, so we're gonna start off with some chicken strips and some bacon. And we're going to season these chicken strips up with some fresh ground black pepper, some garlic powder, some seasoning salt, and some onion powder. So when you're seasoning your chicken strips, you definitely do not want to be heavy handed. It does not take a lot. So we're going to put some seasoning salt down, a little garlic powder, some onion powder, and some fresh ground black pepper. And we're just going to take the tongs and just toss it all around. You want to make sure you get the seasoning on each inch of that chicken, honey. So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to put out our cookie sheet. And I like to lay my chicken and my bacon on the cookie sheet because I don't like it sitting in the oil um, that's from the bacon. Because it keeps the, uh, when you lay the bacon flat in the pan it doesn't get crispy. So I wanted to crisp up really nice and I don't want the chicken to get greasy. So I'm going to lay it on this rack. And you can cook the bacon and the chicken on the same rack. So for this recipe, you need about a pound of chicken, and this is about a pound of chicken. And you're going to use uh, about four to five slices of bacon, just depending on how much bacon you like. Now, if you don't eat pork, you can swipe out the pork bacon for turkey bacon. If you don't eat chicken, you can also do steak or you can do shrimp. Or you can do um, smoked salmon. But I like bacon and chicken, so this is how I'm rolling. But I have done it with the smoked salmon and bacon, and it was absolutely delicious. Alright guys, so we got our bacon, and we got our chicken. And we are ready to pop this into the oven. Now you want to set your oven at 360 and let it go for about 15 to 20 minutes until the chicken, the chicken tenders are done and the bacon is crispy. Now we're going to start off with this pre-cooked pizza crust. And what you want to do is you want to get this on your pizza, your pizza um, pan and you want to pour a little bit of olive oil on it and take a brush and just sweep the olive oil all over the pizza crust. And I like to use a pre make pizza crust because it's a little easier and it's quicker and it doesn't take much time. Now as soon as you get the oil all spread out over the, the pizza crust, then you're going to get ready to pop this in the oven for about 15 minutes at about 450. Depending on how hot your oven gets, anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes. But you just want the crust to get nice and toasty. Now our bacon and chicken are done. I'm going to go ahead and remove that from the cooking rack. 
Y'all, this bacon smells so good. It's so crispy. Mmm, yummers. I always cook an extra piece because I love to take a little piece and just nibble on it. Don't judge me. I love the pig. <laughs> okay, guys. So now our pizza crust is done. And it's all toasty. You can tell that it's done because it's puffed up and it's golden. So now we're going to sit that to the side and we're going to go ahead and we're going to start getting our toppings ready. And we're going to use some romaine lettuce. And we're just going to make sure you dry the lettuce off really well because you don't want the water to get on the pizza dough. So now we're going to get ready to start chopping this up. And you just want to roll it up like you roll up some collard greens if you've ever cooked collard greens. You just want to roll them up and give it a nice chop. You want to make sure you get nice even chops on the lettuce. And now we have our lettuce all chopped. We're going to push that over to the side, honey. We're going to get some great tomatoes. And I love these tomatoes. They're really sweet. And to keep them from rolling off of the pizza, I like to cut them in half. So you just need a handful. My hands are small, so it's about a handful and a half for me. But you want to just cut them in half. And then once you get through... With this, you want to go ahead and just put them on the same plate with the lettuce. So be careful and take your time. You do not want to cut your fingers. Alright, so now we have all our veggies for the pizza. Now, if you like onions and bell peppers, you can add that on too. But this is what I like. So you can add or take away from this whatever you want to, to customize this pizza to your liking. So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to chop up these chicken strips. They smell so good. They still a little warm. Oh my goodness. I'm so guilty because I know that I'm going to like eat a couple pieces. And I always do. <laughs> so you just want to give them a nice cut. Cut them to the size that you prefer if you have smaller kids. Um, to make sure that they don't choke, you might want to cut the pieces up a little bit smaller. And I really like doing this recipe because it's something that you can do with your kids. It's kid friendly and they can, you know, put the toppings on themselves the way they like it. So you can do one for you and you can do one for the kids and it's a healthy, fun way to get the family in the kitchen and get some veggies and get a good, easy, quick Saturday afternoon meal and family time, which is the most important. So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to do this bacon a rub chop. Bacon, 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 baby. This bacon is so crispy and it smells so good. And I know that I'm eating a couple pieces of it, y'all. Like, real life, I eat bacon like four times a week for breakfast. Because <laughs> I love the pig. So, you just want to go, after you get it chopped up, you want to give it a couple chops through so you can get some nice size bacon bits. You don't want to make them too small, you just want to make them, you know, just the right size. Now, when doing this recipe, I do recommend that you use real bacon and not bacon bits. Or, or you use turkey bacon. Do not use the bacon bits that you buy in the store because it will not taste as great. I've tried it before and I was so mad because I ended up using like the whole pack and that was way too much sodium. So now we have our chicken and bacon ready. And we've got our lettuce and tomato all chopped up. And now here comes the sour cream. Now, and the Parmesan cheese. Now, if you don't like sour cream, you can substitute it for ranch dressing. And I like to use the Kraft Creamy salad dressing and the dip dressing if I use the ranch. But we're going to use sour cream tonight. So what you want to do is you want to get you a nice, good helping of the sour cream and just drop it on that pizza and just spread it out honey work it just work it all the way around all the way to the edges and you want to make sure you want to get every inch of this covered because this is what's going to hold the lettuce onto the pizza 
and you want to make sure that the crust is still warm you don't want it to be too hot because then the sour cream will run you just want it to be warm to where it will adhere and the lettuce will stick alright y'all so now we got our sour cream on there and we're gonna go ahead and get ready to start putting the lettuce down and you just want to spread the lettuce all nice and pretty and even. Make sure you get it to the edge as close as possible without it coming off. Now we got our lettuce on there. We want to throw these tomatoes on there. Y'all, we almost done, honey. I'm going to just fix it up and make it look pretty. So now we're going to add on our chicken. and bacon honey this is why they call it a chicken blt pizza because it is delicious it's calorie friendly if you use turkey bacon it's easy to make it's kid friendly and i've also served this at a party before with friends i have a couple friends who like to watch their weight and um this was a good alternative and they seem to like it Now we're going to hit it with a little bit of Parmesan cheese. And voila guys, we're done. Now we're going to go ahead and just place it on a cutting board. Alright guys, this is the so end I hope you guys enjoyed the chicken BLT pizza. It's very tasty, it's easy to make, and it's delicious. And you can substitute it for steak if you would like to, or slices of um, smoked salmon. I love this pizza. It's easy, it's kid friendly, it's budget friendly, and it's really tasty. I hope you guys enjoyed this video today and remember food is love I love you guys treat people the way you want to be treated on a daily basis doesn't take much to be nicer to give a stranger a smile you never know how I may change their day I love you guys and see you guys back here in a couple days